Hello. In this video, we're going to be completing 1.3.6 uh, section. I uh, section that uh, we'll be doing the section analysis portion. Uh, so we're going to be using Onshape to do the section analysis, and it has us using this uh, screwdriver base or uh, jeweler's base uh, that we've created previously in 134. Uh, so first, it wants us just to use our views to slice it. So to do that, we just have our part. I've already got it opened up. Uh, in your part, you just have to go over here by the view cube. There's a drop down beneath, and you can do section view. Uh, so if we want to section it so it got, cuts through the middle, I'm just going to select a face on the side, and you can drag forward and backwards wherever you need it to, to go. So if we need it in the middle, uh, you can move it right to that middle, and we can drop down and see it's cutting right through the middle. Uh, if you want to set a set distance, you can type in that value there as well. I'm just going to drag back and forth for now. Uh, you can hit your green check to accept that you have it in the right place you want. And then if you want to come back, you can turn section view off. Uh, so I'm just hit my X here to turn it off for that one. And then the second one it wants us to do is, well, the first one it wants you to do is a horizontal plane through the uh, cylindrical section. So to do that, same process, you do section view. You will just click on the top in this case, and then we drag it down to where it's cutting through that cylindrical section. Uh, then we can look on it from a top view and see exactly what's going on. We can hit our green check, and it shows you that section view. So that's how you view uh, section view uh, in Onshape. Uh, so we've already looked at that, and then it says slice the model vertically. That's what we did initially. Uh, and then it wants to, you to do it on a drawing page. I'm going to use my jeweler base for the drawing page. Uh, for the assignment, it has you doing something a little different, but I'm just going to use this jeweler base here uh, since we're already in that file. So I'm just going to start drawing. I'm going to put it on my template. It doesn't have to be on a template. It can be on any drawing page to do this. Uh, but I like to use my uh, template as a default. So I'm going to place my object. And then we want a section view. You could put all your views on here. I'm just going to do my front view and I'll put an ISO view. Uh, just so we can see what we're working with. Uh, we could add in projectile other views. But right now we're just looking at doing a section view. Uh, so to do a section view, uh, you just select on the top, you have some uh, some view options, and we want a section view. Uh, then you got to select how you want to cut it. So right now, if I want to cut it vertically, I can do that, and then I can pull it off to the side. It gives you a rendering of what that section looks like, and you can select to place that on your object. If you want to change the scaling, you want to change the section, you can do that as well. If we want to do a horizontal section, you can set up a horizontal section as well. Uh, we just have to change the direction of our line or our geometry there. So uh, right now we're vertical. If I want to do horizontal, I do horizontal, slide it in, and I pull that one up in this case. And that gives me that section view. Uh, so you can ch again, you can change features on those. Uh, but basic how to get your section view. Uh, hopefully this helps you as you work through uh, 136 uh, and working with different section views. Uh, good luck.